Hi and welcome to Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this episode we will be tackling the most common issues you may encounter out of the box with your favorite budget gaming system, the Blades 2. Let's get started. Alright, so here we have the Blades 2. You just received it, you just unpacked it out of the box, you took all the uh, padding inside out and you are ready to play your favorite game. You press the power button and you don't get any video signal. So that's kind of a bummer, but don't worry, I will help you out with it. Uh, first thing you should do is to turn off the system, hold down the power button. And uh, for this one, I want to make sure that I unplug this and turn the system off from the power supply. I want to make sure you guys are plugging your HDMI cables, not here, but down here on the graphics card itself. Okay. Because the system detects that there is a GPU here, so it'll uh, primarily throw the signal down here instead of on the onboard ones. Plus, if it is an AMD uh, processor like this one, it's most likely not going to have any onboard video. As for the Intels, it might work, but you are not going to get the performance you are paying for with the onboard graphics. I mean, with the uh, external graphics card right here. So once you make sure that your um, HDMI is plugged into the graphics card, power your system up again, get yourself hyped, and there's still no video. So at this point, you're probably a little frustrated, but you know, it's normal. <laughs> Don't worry. There, is, there are a couple more steps that we can take to uh, troubleshoot your system and get it running. And uh, like I said, on that one, we focus on the system again. All right. Uh, for the next step, we're going to turn the system off again, and I'm going to reposition my camera so we can reseat your memory module right here. Now, on some, some systems, depending on which you bought, there might be just one stick or there might be two sticks here. Uh, all the same, we're going to have to do the reseat on both of the sticks if it has two. So let's get started with that one. Okay, to reseat the memory module, all you have to do let's put your finger on this tab up here push up on it and it will basically dislodge the memory hold your memory stick this way pull out and downwards like so okay that is your ram right there uh, specifically this one <laughs> there might be one or two in your system depending on the configuration or which model you purchased so you will have to do this for both of them now to put it back all you have to do is line up the bottom. Do take note of how uh, the orientation is uh, when you pull it out. Um, line up the bottom first with the uh, notch on the very, well, the very bottom, of course. Duh. <laughs> and then once you got that done, line up the top also. And right now it's just sitting there. It's not seated yet. What you do on this part is to press on the bottom part first until you hear it click right there and then you press on the top part until that latch secures it back in place power on your system and check if you have display the reason why we do this is because these are as you can see these are clipped um, mainly by these uh, slots here so it's kind of like pressure clipped in and held in by these um, this latch and sometimes during transport it can get dislodged or moved out of place that's why we do that first so power on your system check for display and if there is still no display we're gonna move on to reseeding the graphics card all right, for this step, if there is still no display after reseeding the memory, same thing can happen to your graphics card. So what we're going to do is we're going to also reseat the graphics card right here onto its slot. So for this process, first thing you do is to pinch this one. This connector here has a little notch right there on top. Pinch that one and just simply pull it out. Of course, take note of the orientation. and. Well, this system has been torn apart and put together a couple of times, so it is my training system. Yours may look a lot fresher than this, and there might be covers on the side right here. Let me show you real quick. 
right here there may there's for sure going to be a cover on uh, this side for your system but we are going to uh, uh, simulate that you know there is a cover there loosen the screw here and then move the cover out so you can gain access to these two screws that holds the graphics card in place once you do that we just have to take these two screws out like so and that will get our graphics card loose once you have that process done okay take note of this this is very important don't just yank your graphics card out there is a lock right here on the PCI slot so you're also going to have to press that down like you did with the memory stick until it sits flat you can see this part now clears the gap of the graphics card um, PCB right there so with that done I can just move back out here And I can now slowly pull the card out. There you go. That is your graphics card right there. And we're basically re just reseating it. So I am going to line it up on the sides here. And make sure that the slots right there are properly lined up. Press it in until you hear it click like so. Okay, and then secure the two side screws. Again, on this side. Okay. All right, once you got that secured, close the cover or the latch that goes in here that we talked about earlier. And then don't forget to plug your power back into the graphics card. Line it up. Hear it click. And then power on your system. Give it another shot. And if you still have no video, uh, you can easily get in touch with our customer support. Tell them about your issue. They'll go with further troubleshooting steps. They may have you receive the power connections here, up here and down here uh, to which we also have a video guide for so do check that out also and if not they might warrant a replacement for the graphics card or possibly the memory if the memory uh, caused the issue in the first place um, so for now that is it there, although there's also one other issue that you know I want to tackle since we have this blaze 2 open and that would be the RGB lights on it so there is a different um, configuration for this one since this case comes with the RGB controller that is controlled by the uh, buttons on top of the case it will have a very different um, what do you call that control box or a control panel than the ones that are usually controlled with the remote so we'll go take a look at that right now and once you get your side panel taken off, this is the back of the system, or the other side, you might say. And of course, this is the part that we are going to be focusing on. Let me zoom into it. This is the RGB controller for the Blaze 2. Okay, so uh, uh, if you haven't watched the video where I troubleshot the Kronos, which has a bigger PCB than this one, um, it's kind of basically the same thing. We got its power source right here. We got the LED switch right there that um, is connected to the case and allows you to change the modes and the color on it. And of course we have one right here, number two and number three fan connections right there. So if one of the fans is not lighting up or spinning, uh, unplug one of these and check if that is the fan that is having the issue and unplug the other one try it on there see if it exhibits the same issue 
And like I said in the other video, if the fan is exhibiting the same issue when you transfer it to this connector, then you're going to need a fan replacement. If the fan in question works properly on this slot, then this might have problems with it. And that we can easily send you a new uh, RGB control board like this one. Also easy to replace. Basically two screws remove all the connections, take note of where they are, and then put the brand new one in there. And that should be it, you should be set. Also, if there is no power at all, you can trace this bottom cable here, which connects to power. I'll basically pull it out right now from, from the wire harness jungle that is the bottom of this back area. <laughs> Okay, and give me a second here. <laughs> Alright, so the main connection for that RGB system is right here. Just give me a second here. Let's see. I might get lost here. There's so many wires. Alright, I disconnected it. I've done it. Okay, and it will look something like this. This is your standard Molex connector. Please focus. Kind camera. There you go. Almost. Minimum focusing distance. Okay, here we go. Anyway, that is your power connector there. It is comprised of four connector pins that will plug into your power supply harness. And if ever you have any other um, peripherals that also use this, you can basically chain it to the back of it and grab power along the way. So once we plug this back in, everything should light up. And here we go. Oh my god. Sorry about that. It's too much zoom on this camera. There. RGBs are working, everything's booting, display showing, and you are ready to play your game. If any of these steps did not help you, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service. We are uh, more than willing to help you out with any of the issues you're having with your system. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. And if this video helped you out, please hit that like button. And if not, then leave a comment down below so we can troubleshoot your issues further. And lastly, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon as well so you can be notified of the new helpful troubleshooting videos once they are uploaded. We'll see you on the next one.